My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. Today in this episode, I'm reviewing this shirt that I'm wearing. This is from Helicon Tex, and this is their Windrunner. Basically, my friends, this is a long sleeve shirt that's made from nylon. It's ultra light, and it was designed to block wind. That's why they call it the Wind Runner. The company calls this the Wind Runner Wind Shirt. In my opinion, this fits and looks more like a jacket. What do you all think? Comment down below. This shirt features an anorak design, and to put this on, basically you have to pull it over your head. To take it off, pull it over your head. I personally like anoraks, but there is an issue putting them on and taking them off. For an anorak to fit correctly, like you see here, right? It fits good, it looks good. It's going to be tough to put it on and to take it off because it's going to be a little bit small. Small in the openings, here at the head and down at the waist. I took it off, now watch me put this back on. To get this around your arms, around your shoulders, and then to get your head inside of this small hole here. Yeah, you can do it. But I mean, the circumference here of the waist is tight around my chest. Now you could go up in size, but that's when this becomes very, very baggy. There are things that can be done to an anorak to make them easier to put on and take off, such as a side zipper. Helicon Tex knows of this. In fact, they have anoraks that feature the side zip. Why they didn't add one here, I do not know. All it does is just make it harder to put this on and to take it off. Looking at the shirt here, you can see that you have a center zip that goes down to about mid chest. You also have a wind block behind that zipper to prevent drafts from coming through. You also have a chin guard and a zipper hider at the top. Going up to the hood here, you have draw pulls on both sides so you can adjust it. You have a bill on the top. It's not that large. It's about two inches wide at the widest point. On the back of the hood, you have an additional level of adjustment. You have a draw pull there too. At the end of the arms, you have elastic around the wrists. On the chest, on both sides, you have YKK zippers. By the way, the center zip is also YKK. This is a pass-through pocket, and on the inside of this pocket, you do have a number of sleeves. So you could stick your phone in one of these sleeves or whatever else. Also on the inside, you have mesh. Think of that as a sort of vent, and we'll talk more about that in just a minute. Additionally, folks, you have mesh on the armpits on both sides. Going down, you do have a draw pull for the waist, so you can pull this tight to prevent drafts. For the most part, my friends, those are the features of the Wind Runner. One thing I should mention is right here on the elbows, we have reinforcements, so it's less likely to wear there. Now that we've taken a look at the shirt, let's go over some stats real quick. Starting with the materials, Helicon Tex refers to this as a wind pack nylon. What that is exactly, I have no idea. I did a little bit of searching, but I couldn't find any real details. All that I know is that this is very tightly woven nylon. We also have YKK zippers. As far as the sizes go, extra small all the way up to extra, extra large. This is available in lots of colors. Coyote, alpha green, black, shadow gray, and so on. The retail price of this is $70. Be careful though. There are plenty of sites that are selling this at a premium, such as Military First. Military First has this for sale, $113. That's a ripoff. Do not buy from that site. Also, be careful on Amazon. Now that we got the stats out of the way, let's start with the pros. First off, the overall quality and construction of this is very good. I would not say it's great. There are some loose threads here and there, but nothing that alarms me. In general, this looks good, especially for the $70. If you paid $113 for this, it better be perfect, but it's not. So folks, do not pay $113 for this. $70, that makes sense. Next up, my friends, this is ultra light. This comes in at eight ounces. That's very impressive. Not only is this lightweight, but it's also very compressible. You can use the pocket here as a storage bag. You can stuff it in there, and the form factor is very small. The next pro that I have for this shirt is that it's wind resistant. Not wind proof, but wind resistant. I'll talk more about that in just a moment. An additional pro that I have for this shirt is that it dries fairly quickly. At the same time, the DWR works well. This is not going to keep you dry in a heavy rain, but if you're making a quick dash out into the rain, it will bead and fall off, which is nice. Next, everyone, the ventilation for this shirt is very good. You have the vents under the arms. You can zip this down to about here. That helps. But let's say that you're running hot, right? You can open up the chest pocket here and you have all of that mesh on the inside. That will help with releasing some heat and also letting some air in. Speaking of this shirt holding in some heat, it does, and that's going to benefit you in the colder months. For an example, right now it's about 40 degrees. I have a fleece jacket on underneath, and this is holding in some heat. At the same time, 
it's blocking the breeze. In the cooler months, that is definitely of a benefit. During those times where you don't want to hold in heat, you can open up the zips, open up this front pocket, zip this down, and you'll be good to go. Something else that I like about this shirt is that there's no gimmicks here. All of the features, they make sense. It's very simple, very practical, and I like that. As far as the hood goes, it's not bad either. You have lots of adjustability here. In the back, on the sides, down low. It's comfortable. The bill works well enough. It's nothing super, super special, but it, it works. As far as a comfort rating goes, 10 out of 10. I absolutely love wearing this. It's very lightweight. You can move freely. It does stretch a little bit. At no point in time do I feel like it's restricting me. I really do like the way that this jacket wears. It's nice. Now, my friends, let's go over the cons that I have for this shirt. So the first one is this. This does not feature any sort of like athletic cut or slim fit. It is what it is. You put it on and it just drapes over your shoulders straight down. In other words, everyone, it could look better than it does now when you're wearing it. Saying it in a different way, it could feature a more flattering cut than it does. Next, everyone, the overall sizing on these shirts runs large, and that's true with most of Helicon Texas products. Originally, I ordered the large, and it was so crazy big, it simply did not work. I went to the medium, and it still was just too baggy. Then I went to the small. In my opinion, it fits right, but it is kind of difficult to get it on and to take it off. It would be my advice for Helicon Techs to go back and re-examine their sizing. It simply makes no sense. I recently got in the Wolfhound jacket, which I really like, but it was so big. The sizing is just way off. And if you go to read reviews for Helicon Techs products, their clothing products, that's the biggest complaint that everyone has. The sizing just does not make any sense. And I agree. The next con is getting this on and off. I already talked about that. A side zip would make all the difference in the world. Maybe they were focusing on it being ultra light, but a side zip is not going to add that much weight to it. So I don't know. The next con that I have for this shirt is the material itself. It is somewhat loud. Even when you're moving around, it makes quite a bit of noise. Also, it's fragile. This is not a bushcraft jacket. This is not a bushcraft shirt. Do not take this off trail. Do not take this through the forest. If a stick or a rock snags this, it will tear a hole in it. This is very fragile. Be careful. Moving on to the final con, the biggest con. This is breeze proof. It is not windproof, unfortunately. The material here is very thin. Even though it is tightly woven, at a certain point, you will feel the wind coming through this material. Unfortunately, I do not have a miles per hour rating to give you, but I can tell you this. With my testing out in the field, there have been times where I've been in very windy conditions and I feel that wind coming straight through this material. So again, it's breeze proof, it's not windproof. If you want true windproof performance, there are much better wind blocks out there. But the thing is this, they will weigh a whole lot more than this does. And right there you have it everyone, those are the pros and cons that I have for the wind runner, which I'm going to call the breeze runner from here on out. <laughs> I'll do a 360 for you one more time. What do you all think about this shirt? What do you all think about the coyote color that I went with? They have a shadow gray, which I really, really like. In fact, I like this product quite a bit, to be honest with you. The only issue, well, the, well, two issues, I guess. The overall wind resistance is good, it's not great. Also, the fit is just simply off. I recommend sizing down. I would start with one size down before moving any lower. But definitely, the size, it's off. I really wish the company put a side zip in here. That would make putting this on and taking it off so easy. I just, I don't understand why they didn't do that. And sizing up because of the shape, because of the cut, just does not make any sense. It does not look good. So those are points that you all have to consider. I purchased this product with my own money so I can test it out and share with you all my thoughts. So there you go. If you want to support a channel that's agenda free, you can do so. Patreon, YouTube, you can join the Wolfpack. It is appreciated. Everyone, take care. Be well, strength and honor.